Hello and welcome back to the Plague Tournament. We are at table one in round four. I have a fellow uh, Farmstead team member on the feature today and he's playing against a pretty good Swedish player by the name of Olam. Olam is uh, doing a podcast called uh, Monster of the Week and he also has a YouTube channel right there. So you should uh, check them both out. Okay, so now let's take a look at some decks. And uh, here's the first deck. Player name is uh, Roy and he is part of the Farmstead team. Okay, so this is a pretty classic robot deck. You cast a big uh, Suchi at Triskelion. You copy it with a copy artifact. If it dies, you can cast an animate dead. And, uh, and that's how it goes. <laughs> so uh, there's an ancestral recall here, <laughs> and it says uh, to John, and it's signed by Mark Pohl. <laughs> Such a beautiful gift to give to someone. <laughs> Just writing down the name, and, uh, really lowering the value. But uh, that card was owned by a person called John. So yeah, <laughs> fun fact. And uh, here's the second deck. Player name is uh, Olan, and he's bringing his uh, Triple S deck. And I, I think this is, is a copy of the World Championship winning uh, old school deck um, in from WinCon. But uh, of course, uh, Olan has his uh, giant shark in his sideboard, so it's a shark holder. <laughs> okay, it's called Triple S because of there's a Savannah Lion, there's Suchi, and there's a Sarah Angel. Uh, other than that, it is the usual suspects, the good blue and the good uh, white card. But uh, the cool thing about this deck is uh, after sideboarding, because you can choose to go more controlish. You have Jam Day Tomes in your uh, sideboard and control magic. Uh, so often you can take out the Savannah line and play play a more controlish game. So. Uh, this sideboard gives you a lot of options, and uh, I've tried this list, and uh, it's really difficult because it isn't that great of an aggressive deck, and is it isn't a really good control deck, so it's like a hybrid between. So it's it's kind of hard to navigate the games. So that's the two decks. Let's get down to the match. Game number one: all on to the left and uh, Roy to the right. And again, sorry about the video quality. It is, but it is pretty good. <laughs> There's a mana vault from uh, Roy. A pretty slow start from uh, Olan. Mox. So now Mo Roy has uh, six mana, and he's casting a copy artifact. So he's making another Mox uh, Sapphire. So Roy has a lot of mana here, so he could just jam a Triskelion or Suchi or something. But uh, they might not be in his hand, or he might be scared of all the white removal. Just past the turn. With 7 mana. And here's a Savannah line from Olan. One of the S's in a triple S. Here, two mana, five. How about making it gay? Okay. Brain guys, so for three. Hmm. And a time walk. Okay. And a lightning bolt on the savannah line for good measure. Okay. So that was an impressive turn. So he's taking a damage from the mana vault. And he has a lot of cards. And just past the turn again. He might be waiting for Olam to uh, make the first move. A shadow on the Mox. That's cutting Olam off the red. Another damage from the mana vault. 
both players are really patient. And once again, just pass the turn. What's in your hand, buddy? <laughs> okay, so he's choosing to untap the mana vault. So perhaps he's going for a, something big next turn. Playing another mana vault. Let's see. Okay, and there's a brain geyser from Olam. It's for three. And now he's completely tapped out. And this might be the window that uh, Roy was looking for. Oh yes, has a Triskelion. Is there something else? Suchi or, uh, or a copy? Oh yeah, that's awesome. And another copy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, that was great. Oh no, dang, wow, there's a balance, hmm, perhaps, uh, perhaps that was why Olan tapped out for that brain geyser, just to try to make uh, Roy commit something to the table, but uh, Olan has to discard a bunch of cards, so it's, uh, it is bad for him as well, look at that, discarding four cards. But taking care of three Triskelions. Of course, uh, Roy used the Triskelion counters and uh, did the nine damage before they died. And tapping one of the mana vaults. Four mana from Mind Twist. Oh, yeah, there's no chance that uh, Olan doesn't have a counter spell there. After all, he discarded four cards. And uh, I guess a counter spell is uh, one of the cards to keep when you have a double blue. Uh, a factory attack and a pump so Roy is down to 10 Olan is at 11 he's untapping that uh, mana vault and just past the turn okay so the factory is doing a thing now Olan is a uh, Holding up that double blue. Yes, I can see a counter spell and a disenchant and a chaos orb in Olan's hand. So we have all the answers. So he's going for that uh, factory beatdown. Nah. Have a sword plosher for the factory for, for Roy. Okay, so he's down to six. That uh, mana vault is doing a lot of damage. Here's a Suchi. And there's the counter spell. And a mana drain from uh, Roy. Okay, that's good. Something stuck. Pass the turn. And there, yes. There's the Chaos Orb. I think we saw it in the sand earlier, so it's just been sitting there. And I will all on miss. No, we won't. And a time walk. Hey, so will he? Yeah, he attacks with both a psionic blast on one of them. So Petroy still takes four damage. And there's some lagging on the video, sorry about that. Roy is forced to untap one of the mana vaults. So he only takes one damage, he's at one life. Is there anything he can do with this? No, he scoops. And uh, while we are waiting for game two, you should uh, subscribe if you haven't. For like 50% of my viewers isn't subscribing. So I'm trying to go for that thousand uh, member club. So uh, pu push that subscribe button and let's get go to game number two. Game two. 
I just got to start because it was really laggy, but uh, there's been played a mana vault. And, uh, no, <laughs> yeah, mana vault. And both players have played factories. And there's a mox, and thank you for showing us your land. It's kind of hard when the hand is above them. And he makes a copy of the factory. So both players have uh, two Mishra's factories. A classic old school match with a bunch of factories on the table. Okay, so there's a copy artifact. Now, I mean, there's control magic, Suchis in all on Sam. But uh, he's taking it really slow, so it's really. I think he has turned this deck into a more controlish deck, like I talked about earlier in the video. And here's some sideboard deck from Roy, taking out some artifacts and uh, bringing in some Shivan Dragons. That was some tech we talked about earlier, uh, before the tournament, me and Roy. But uh, Olan has that uh, Chaos Orb. But uh, bringing in big uh, red creatures here is pretty okay, because uh, white has so many uh, good answers to your artifact creatures. And there's an attack from the factory, and a disenchant. So I would imagine that Olan uh, sideboarded out his uh, savannah lines. And probably the city in a bottle and took in uh, all those white uh, removal cards like the divine offering disenchant oh where's the signed suchi and a shatter that suchi must be from a tournament or something another mana vault So Roy doesn't own all the moxes because he's pretty new to old school. So uh, then you have to play with mana vaults. That's an ancestral, demonic tutor into an ancestral. That is also good, all, always good. Three cards, three mana left. Oh, a lotus and a mox. So suddenly he has uh, seven mana. Who's taking the Lotus for a Sarah Angel? Hmm. And Roy doesn't cast anything. That's not good. Because if he had something, Olan was pretty tapped out, so. Roy's hand must be pretty bad, so he's activating his uh, factory, and he actually has two factories. Blocking and tapping to pump, and a disjunct. Good white removal. Yeah, that gives you another draw. Okay, nothing good here from Roy. And Olan's hand is uh, stacked with a bunch of good cards. That's a sword blowshell on the factory. Gives Roy 3 life. Down to 11. Oh, and he passed the turn once again. And Olan is sitting on that control magic, so he ju he's just hoping that Roy is casting something big. Down to tree life. What can you do, buddy? No, that's a scoop. GG. So uh, Olan won uh, 2 to 0 and uh, just destroyed my uh, team member. <laughs> that's not nice. But, uh, anyways, you should uh, like this video. You should uh, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, make a comment. 
and you should also subscribe to Oland's uh, YouTube channel and listen to his uh, podcast. It is about old school, so it is awesome. Okay, that was it. Goodbye.